Hello everyone and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. Wheat fields are sprouting across Oklahoma, giving our state a lovely shade of green. But as OSU Extension entomologist Tom Royer tells us, the first threat to this year's crop is already arriving. This last summer, uh, we started getting early flights of fall armyworm that, uh, that are blown in on weather fronts from the south because it doesn't overwinter in Oklahoma. So it's become established here early. This is probably the third flight that we've seen uh, that has attacked any vulnerable uh, crops such as sorghum, corn, or now wheat. From now until the first frost, Royer suggests farmers should be out in the field scouting for damage. The caterpillar's hatch are really tiny when they get started and their mouth parts aren't even strong enough to chew down a leaf. So what they do is they scrape the leaf tissue off the leaf uh, and uh, cause um, injury that we call window painting. That's the first sign that you have an infestation out in your field and that is the best time to, to try and get control of them. Uh, a lot of times what, what will happen is that producers won't notice the injury until uh, you see areas like you might see out here where there are bare spots out in there where the worms have gotten bigger and are chewing down the wheat. To check for the threat, simply walk through the field. The treatment uh, threshold that we use to determine whether a field needs to be treated is you go out and scout different areas of the field. If we see uh, two to three per square foot, that's a, a treatment threshold that we suggest uh, using an insecticide to control them. There are plenty of different insecticides that are available to control them. They're all pretty effective, especially if you catch the caterpillars when they're small. If you'd like more information on fall armyworms, visit your local county extension office or go to our website, sunup.okstate.edu.